<laughs> Joel Storch, welcome back. Now, you tell me, so far, has the consumer really been hurt by the tariffs which we've imposed on China <laughs> products? Uh, you sure can't find it. And uh, when you take a look overall, I believe the hysteria surrounding this is uh, way overblown. And in fact, the market should be trading on fundamentals of these companies in the economy and not on these tariffs, as it appears to be doing. When you take a look at the $300 billion of goods that will be subject to these tariffs, you know, much of, much of which is not until the, the, late into December of this year, uh, that, those, those goods imported from China represent approximately 3% of total consumer expenditures. So you're talking about 15% tariff on 3%, a fraction of a fraction, and it's just not material to the consumer. It may be material to individual companies who have a, a, you know, may have a beef with it or a case, and I congratulate them on petitioning the government as, as they should do in a democracy to try to see uh, their business interests improve. But uh, the consumer as a whole, it's just not a big deal. Despite everything everyone talks about, the rest of it, the numbers do not say that absolutely. Meanwhile, the consumer is very strong. Yep. These tariffs are nothing, nothing like the smoot Hawley tariffs during the Depression. They were at 50 to 60 percent levels that we all learned in you know, economics class uh, destroyed the economy, and it's why we all heard tariffs are bad. This is a small percentage tariff on a small percentage of total consumer expenditures. Okay. I'm not arguing it's good or bad. I'm just saying it's ridiculous well, to talk know, about consumer look, pain or that's bringing things down. You'll be an objective. And that's what we like. You are objective about the impact yeah. of these tariffs, and that, that's good stuff. Now, let's, suppose, let, let's just suppose that prices did rise over the longer term, the prices did rise. Would Americans, do you think, be prepared to pay more in the interests of confronting China? Well, it depends on how much more. And, I, and I, I do think some product prices will rise. My point is it's just not a lot of their total expenditures. Some products, the price are going to have to rise when, uh, when companies aren't able to mitigate the impact, as most of them should be acting to do. So I, I think the question is how much pain is there? Uh, consumers right now are fully employed. Uh, they have, uh, have good wages, and they'll spend their money. They, they, this, this is all background noise to the consumer. If yeah. prices rise, you know, like I said, up to that level you had during the Depression, that's a different story. At this level, it, it's just not going to play through and have a major impact right. on the consumer as a whole versus individual products. It's just not. And let's not forget that gas prices are falling quite sharply, and that puts more money in your pocket. Well, there, there's all, you know, there's a huge uh, deflation in the price of cotton, that's one right. of the major commodities that goes into apparel. Right. Who talks about that? Nobody. And the decline in prices that, that, that nobody talks about. It. That's nobody. more material. Except you. Uh, yeah. Jerry Storch, thank you very much, sir. We appreciate your objectivity. You're all right. Thank you, Jerry.